Today we're going to do two things. One of them is going to change everything. The other is probably going to change nothing. And as you see, I've got armaments on my screen. Opening these crates probably isn't going to change anything about the armaments I use. But reading this mail actually changes everything. So stick around for the things you need to know and to see if I get lucky. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Just Cool Gaming, and hopefully you didn't mind the armament joke at the top of the video. And as you can see, I am actually traveling right now, but your boy Cheese always records anyways. So here we are with a video, and this information was brought uh, to my attention by Sniper Tom. Big thank you for bringing this to my attention. This mail went to apparently a small number of kingdoms, and it says your kingdom will get to pioneer the new attack march feature after the update attack marching gives you a faster and easier way to carve a path of destruction through your enemies here's how to use it enable attack march setting in the settings page once it's enabled you'll be able to see the attack march button when you tap and hold an open spot on the map a troop ordered to attack march will begin marching toward the spot you selected. If it encounters enemies along the way, it will automatically pursue and attack them. See in-game for more details about this new feature. So this actually, unironically, changes everything. Uh, the way the combat works today in a proper large fight is that you kind of target things and hope for the best. Often you can't tell what's happening. There's a ton of stuff going on on the screen. And like, I've honestly given up trying to play certain large scale fights skillfully. I really have. Like I send, I hope for the best. Maybe I hit something, maybe I don't. This changes that. And I like this change a lot um, based on what I'm seeing here, which is that basically you can target a specific location. Your troops would march toward it, but... If you encounter an enemy on the way, you will then fight them. So in a properly large fight where there's just a ton of stuff going on, you can't see what's really on the screen. Both your team and their team popped king skill, so like it's just red circles everywhere. Even in dot mode, you can't even tell if you're hitting something or it's running away from you. You just use attack march. And now, instead of the weird back and forth situation that we see in most fights... Where, look, even 1960 is faster than most kingdoms to retreat their marches if you target them. What I would, ex and I just didn't think that was going to be the case. I thought they just run in and send and like, boom, they get you. But like, actually, they bait you in just like everybody else does, okay? But the way this works is you target an enemy and, or, or even you target the land behind an enemy and you march in that direction, and you will fight enemies that are in front of you, rather than just run past them, and then you get wrecked, and you get baited, and GG, nerd. Um, so this, to me, actually, I think, changes the way combat's going to work in Rise of Kingdoms. I, I unironically think this represents potentially a transformation in the way the game is played. And the funny thing is that, like, look, I played StarCraft, okay? I played WarCraft. Back in the, I played the original WarCraft, bro. Yo, I am old, all right? <laughs> this is something that has been in this sort of genre of game, kind of, this concept of an attack for ages. And I'm not saying StarCraft and WarCraft are the same genre, but I'm saying the combat here is kind of modeled after that in a lot of ways. You just have less things that you're controlling at a time, just five marches, right? So uh, the only other thing that I could think of that would be kind of neat is if we have attack march, why the heck don't we have patrol at that point? right? Like, literally, put your marches out on patrol. Why not? What, why not? you right? Like, I can't play the game right now. Send my marches on patrol. Or even, I can't play the game right now. I guess you'll do attack march. What about defend yourself at a certain position? If an enemy enters into a certain radius of your position, you defend yourself. Why not? Right? Like, there's a bunch of things that actually this opens up as a possibility. Now that the developers are introducing this, potentially, we'll see how the test goes. Maybe they'll go in and they'll add other ways of moving your troops, which I think would be really smart to do, actually. I think this is almost certainly a very good change for the game um, and actually changes things in an extremely meaningful way. Uh, 
but we'll see how the test actually runs here. On the topic of, however, things that will not change things <laughs> in a meaningful way, I am afraid that I'm going to open up these armaments and it's not going to go anywhere, and I guess we'll see what happens, right? So let's rip these open. And by the way, I did get some transmutation stones recently. I got a mail today. You may have gotten this as well. I don't know if there's rolling this out kingdom by kingdom, but I got this on my main and I got this on my restart. Um, hello, Governor. We adjusted the contents of inscription shard chests from the superior selection of the uh, or superior section of the courier station. Inscription shard chests will no longer contain epic quality inscriptions. They will now include transmutation stones. Here's some transmutation stones based on how many chests you open. Uh, so I opened 10 of them on my main account. They gave me 50 transmutation stones. It's kind of cool. Um, it's a total gamba as to whether or not that changes anything about your armaments. Like you can get lucky and you can get wrecked. For example, I went in and I was like, bruh, come on. I got to re-roll this sucker. I had like a siege unit stat in the middle here and I, boom, cost me five transmutation stones. Granted, I had already rolled this a couple times, but five transmutation stones, I got 3.1 divas. Big poggers, big change, right? Hello, baby. Let's freaking go. Big, big win there. Um, many other times you get racked and it just is what it is. And on the topic of sometimes you get racked. I mean, uh, hmm. by the way, one thing I would strongly recommend if you are a spender in this game, go to the supply depot and get yourself the seven day armament supply. Every day you get three epic crates. It ain't much, but over time that adds up. That's got to be the highest value way to go and get these crates for sure, man. I mean, I was spending five bucks on the super value bundle and getting three crates now. Five bucks gets you three crates a day for seven days. That's, I, I mean, among the supplies that are available, that has to be the single most important supply for literally, I would say, every account. But let's go in here, and uh, let's rip these open. And I think what I just do is keep going Arch, and I just hope for the best. And, um, well, I guess we'll see what happens here. They do have a new animation. Ooh. Uh, well, I got haste. Spoiler alert. They do have this new animation, and, like, I don't know, it's kind of cool. Doesn't really change my perception of how it went, but... Uh, yeah, the animation's kind of neat. I generally hold on to anything that has an inscription, but, like, kind of unexciting here. So we can go and recycle all these bad boys. Um, I guess I'll hold on to that. It has an inscription. I wasn't paying much attention to it. All right. Here we go. We continue on the arch formation. Um, all right. Three legendary armaments, but... None of them are any good. And then you've got all the epics. We smash bulk recycle. I mean, theoretically, I should click on them and see what these are at least. I don't know. I guess I'll recycle on my own time. You know, I'll recycle on my own time. Let's get after it and just open the crates, all right? Ten more crates. Arch formation. Here we go. And a legendary. Nothing. All right. Well, ten more crates. Arch formation. Here we go. And ooh, ooh. Okay. I mean, if Archer Arch was a thing, actually decent to hold on to that one. That might actually be. I, I might actually not be able to say no upgrades with this set of pulls, and I've only done it on the upgrades. See, so here's the thing. Here's the thing, okay. The thing is that as of right now, there is no archer arch situation. So like, it's not relevant to me yet, but maybe it will be at some point. Is it actually the best that I have? Um, well, yeah. Yeah, actually. Yeah, that's so I can unlock this one and I'll recycle that bad boy. Um, and I can recycle this one because we, fam, we did it. We did the thing. That's, I mean, that's a nice platform for putting stuff on there. Well, hey, yo, can't say I got actually nothing. I got potential. I legit got potential there. Um, we continue on Arch mostly because I'm interested in improving my Gorgo garrison. That's really... That's really it. I guess I'm fishing for legendary inscriptions, as unlikely as this is. Oh, oh, okay. Double inscription. Okay, well, hello. Um, wary, unexciting, low stats, 
Bruh, March speed off territory. Damage to Barbarians and Elite, 1% extra damage. On any other formation, all damage is wicked, but on Arch Formation, you really just want normal attack damage. War Hunger. See, uh, 1.5% normal is, like, nice, but I got a double over here. Come on! Ugh, guarded and Respite. Bro. With no relevant stats. Bro. Bro, do I have this already? Somehow? Um... We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. So all the rest of these are Garbo. And I have one potential on the double inscription there that maybe, maybe is an upgrade. Uncharacteristic. What do I have? Primed and guarded. Primed and guarded. And I'm, I can upgrade it to guarded and respite. It is actually an upgrade if I could get the infantry stats. Oh, gross. I mean, it would be an upgrade to a double, but I could also upgrade to special. So there is that. I don't know. I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to spend some time figuring it out on that one. In the meantime, we open more crates and we see where we get. Arch formation. Please, don't suck. Come on. Okay, that definitively sucks. Um, do we get any stats? The consolation prize. Some stats for your boy Cheese. No. 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 Probably could just bulk recycle, but like I said, I'll do that on my own time. Let's rip these open. Arch formation, please. And? Okay. Two inscriptions. Low stats and payback is barb damage. Ballistics and rainbow stats. Yeah, ballistics is B formation. Bro. I guess this is 1.5% counterattack damage. Ugh, gross. All right. Well, here we go. Final nine. Formation choice chess, please. Arch. Represents over $385 of armaments. Bruh. Well. Well. I mean, we did how we did. Ooh! Why do I get that now after I've already placed my legendary inscription? <sighs> sure. 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 3.5, 3 3.3, and 3. Damn. I mean, here's the problem. Wrong button. Here's the problem. 2.7, 2.7, and 2.6. And I put this on there. Maybe one day they'll have a relocation stone where I can take it and put it from one onto another. Wouldn't that be nice? Dream on, Chiskul. Dream on. If you enjoyed the vid, throw a like on here. Consider subscribing. I think the armaments technically turned out better than I expected. I was literally expecting nothing, and I got more than nothing. So I feel pretty good about that. And I also feel pretty damn good about the open field change. I really, I really do actually think that this could be a big, a big change to how things go in Rise of Kingdoms. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you're in a kingdom that has this change, let me know down below in the comments as well. Let me know your thoughts on how it's going for you. I hope that every kingdom that has this is in a KVK together. Because uh, if your kingdom has this and the enemy kingdom doesn't, you're going to win. <laughs> like, you actually just win if you have this and your enemy kingdom doesn't. Not white, but like, kinda. <laughs> Anyways, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the vid. I've got more stuff cooking up while I'm on vacation. Maybe Ruz and Cortex are going to whip up a video. I'm hoping that they will. Maybe a few videos. Be kind of cool. If you have any ideas for things you want them to talk about, uh, also drop that down below in the comments. Until next time, you have fun smashing the kingdom.